In order to make your volume controls work inside voice meter, open voice meter, go to menu, short key hook and then select hook volume keys for level output A1. Once you did that and you're using the volume key on your keyboard, you are controlling the A1 output in voice meter. Hey everyone, Greeny for Greenbox here, and that is basically how easy it is to use your keyboard volume keys in voice meter. However, this only works for one output, which is in our case, output A1. In case you have set up your voice meter to use multiple outputs like I have, this won't exactly help you because you also want to use your volume keys on your keyboard in order to control all the other outputs. In this video, I will also show you how to fix that. And everything we need to do for that is, first of all, we need to redo what we just did at the beginning of this video. We need to go again, menu, shortcut, hook, and we disable the hook volume key. Once we did that, we have the volume control again, not working inside voice meter. It doesn't matter which version of voice meter you're using, you should have installed a software along voice meter called Macro Buttons. The thing we need to do first is we need to go again in voice meter to menu, then go to run Macro Buttons on voice meter start. So we guarantee that this piece of software is being started every time we start voice meter. After that, all we need to do is restart voice meter. In order to do that, we go onto menu, and then shut down voice meter. Once voice meter is closed, we of course need to start voice meter again. And make sure that you start the right version of voice meter. In my case, I use potato, you most likely use banana. So start your software again, the macro buttons should be running as well. And we can check this by going to the system tree on the right side. Right there, it is our macro buttons. So again, let's open voice meter and also open the voice meter macro buttons. Those buttons will be used to program to do exactly what we want. In my case, as you might be able to tell by the hardware outputs, I'm using three different hardware outputs at the same time. I'm using my speaker, I'm using my headset, and I'm using my Elgato Wave XLR as a third output. And I want to control the volume of all of those outputs with my volume keys. So let's start with the volume up action. To do that, we simply click onto the first free surface inside the voice meter macro buttons. This opens a new button configuration window and in here we can program the button how we need it to be. First of all, let's give this button a name. In my case, this is volume up. Next, we need to define what key this button is listening to. In our case, this would be the volume up button, or in my specific case, it would be the volume up wheel on my keyboard. Next, we need to define what voice meter has to do once this button is pressed. So we go to the field named trigger in. In my case, my hardware outputs use A1 to A3, which correspond to the buses bus zero, bus one, and bus two. First, we have to tell voice meter to what bus it has to do anything. So we write down bus and then we say this is bus zero, my first output A1. Then we say what action to do on bus zero, which would be dot gain. Then we do a space and now we tell what to do to the gain. So we say plus equals one semicolon. What this does is every time we press the button, it adds one to the current gain of bus zero. We can now press OK and test if this button works. So now, if I press this button or the button on my keyboard, this bus should go up by one. So let's press it and test it. See, that worked. Wonderful. Only problem is we currently can only go upwards, not down. So we do the exact same thing for volume down. So we click onto the next free surface and then do the exact same thing for volume down. Volume down, bind it to volume down. This is regarding bus zero. It's gain and we want it to be minus equal one, semicolon. And once we did that and we press this button, the volume is going down. And now we have the exact same thing as we had at the beginning of the video, but now we can expand it to our other outputs. In order to do that, we simply add it by right-clicking to an existing button. In this case, the volume up. We copy the instruction onto two more lines 
Then we say this is regarding bus 1 and this is regarding bus 2. Then we do the same thing for volume down, copy, two new lines, bus 1, bus 2, OK. And if I now use the volume wheel on my keyboard, we are controlling all three outputs at the same time. As a bonus, I also want to show you how to bind the mute button to voice meter. So we again go to a free surface, right click it and then give it a name. I name this volume mute. Then we bind this to the volume mute button, of course. Inside the instructions, we tell voice meter to mute our bus. So again, we say this is regarding bus our first bus, which is bus zero, dot its mute state, space, plus equal one semicolon. So what this does is it takes the current state of mute and adds plus one. This means once we press this button, it mutes the output. And once we press it again, it unmutes it again. If we would only say equals one, it would only mute and you would have to use a different button to set it to equal zero to unmute. With this, we have one button that does both. So again, we want to mute multiple buses at once, so we copy this to two more lines, say this one regards bus 1 and this one regards bus 2, and then we hit OK. And if I now hit the volume mute key on my keyboard, it mutes all my free hardware outputs. If I hit it again, it unmutes again. And that's everything you need to do. And that's how to use your volume control keys with voice meter. I hope this video helped you. In case it did, let me know by writing a comment or hitting that super thanks button. I haven't seen anyone do it yet, so it would be pretty cool if anyone could do that because, you know, money. Also, you might want to join the Creators Exchange Discord server linked in the video description down below, which is a place where creators can help other creators with their small problems. For example, on how to use voice meter with my volume controls on my keyboard. All right, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and I will see you in another video. And now, click, click, click a video. Bye!